In this video, we are going to talk about the green steel or what's so called fossil fuel steel, which will be a great contribution to reduce the CO2 emissions globally, since the steel industry is responsible of introducing around 7% of CO2 emissions around the world, which is really a quite big share in compared to other industries. In a country like Sweden, the steel industry is producing around 10% of the country's CO2 emission and they really want to change the situation by using a new iron process that uses green hydrogen to remove the oxide of the iron ore instead of using coal that generates a big amount of CO2. Now for the people who doesn't know what is the traditional process of making the steel, we'll explain simply in this video. But if someone wants to get more detailed information, there are links in the description of this video. That explains the process in depth. However, for producing the steel according to the traditional process, the coal shall be heated up inside furnaces in order to transfer it into coke. The coke after that shall be mixed with the iron ore and limestone to remove the oxide from the iron ore inside the blast furnaces. This process called iron reduction which is the early stage before turning the iron into steel. This process generates an enormous amount of CO2 emission as a result of the reaction between the carbon and the oxygen. After this stage, the molten iron shall be taken into an electrical arc furnace to produce the steel. By taking a look on the process that we just explained, we will find that at different stages of the production, a huge amount of CO2 is being emitted due to the iron reduction process and also due to the giant furnaces that are being used which relies on fossil fuel. Thankfully there is a new way to produce the steel with almost zero CO2 emissions by using hydrogen instead of coal for the reduction process of iron ore. The process starts by producing the green hydrogen from water by using renewable energy sources. The hydrogen will be used for the reduction of iron ore. The byproduct of this process is the water instead of CO2. The ore can be recycled to produce the hydrogen again. At this stage, the iron ore is reduced and the result is the sponge iron. And if someone wants to know more about the sponge iron, there's a link in the description because we don't want to make this video complicated for you. Now the sponge iron shall be sent to electrical arc furnace and limestone or carbon source shall be added to turn the sponge iron into steel. The CO2 emissions at this stage is only around 2.8% in compared to the traditional process. And that means that the total CO2 emissions for producing the steel has been reduced by 97.2%, which is a great deal for the way to the near zero emissions. Now, the company that are working on this technology called Hybrid, which is a joint venture between the steel company SSAB, mining company LKAB, and Vettenfall. The demand on green steel is expected to grow very fast in the coming years due to the future plans of European countries to cut the CO2 emissions and reduce the carbon footprint of their industries. The first customer for hybrid was the truck maker Volvo, which has a plan to use the green steel on their trucks and cars by 2024. This steel is the backbone of our modern life and it is essential for renewable energy transformation. For example, we need the steel for making wind turbine and install our solar panels. The application of the steel in this field is countless and it is crucial to find a way to cut the CO2 emissions of this industry. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.